Hola, mi gente. Um, it is May 8th. Got it. It is May 8th on a Monday morning, and I am going to pick up my two older kids from school. They are doing early dismissal today, so um, I had to pick them up at 11 o'clock. I'm already late. It's already 1120, and it's because the baby fell asleep. Yes, there's a new addition to our family. If you guys watched my rant in one of my other videos about maybe two or three videos ago about you know um, foster caring and all that other stuff um, I now have my baby niece of 10 months old me and my husband are now taking care of her until her mommy gets it together and that's what she needs to do to get her children back but for right now she is with us and um we got an extra baby in the house um so all together that's eight kids now mind you even though it's eight kids four of them are much older they're between the ages of 16 no 15 and 14 and 18 those are the ages right now that we have in the house um but they're all kind of scattered like the two oldest ones the one that's 18 and 17 you know, they have jobs and they are a little bit more scattered. Um, and then the other two are a little bit more at home, but they're older. So it's a little bit easier to deal with other than transportation. And of course, the babies, my little ones that are the ages of from 10 to now 10 months. So, you know, um, between the ages of 10 and 10 months. So, yeah, I'm busy, yo. Like for reals, as a busy mama. But I like it. I don't know what I'm going to do when that time comes that my children are no longer in my care like this. Um, but when that road comes, then we'll cross it. Right now, I'm enjoying it. It is tiring. It is exhausting, frustrating. But it is fun to spend time with my children and to see them grow up and to see them become the people that they are eventually going to become. And it's, it's, a, it's rewarding to have these kids and to and I thank the Lord that we are able to provide for them you know with my husband and be able to provide and um you know be there for them it is it is a wonderful thing you know we don't we don't get that a lot of parents out there who only got one kid and they can't provide for that child like they each other so I praise God we are able to do what we got to do so I'm here. I'm going to pick up my kids. I am a little bit afraid because, I mean, well, no, I'm not afraid. They're fine. They were in the playground. <laughs> the big boogaloos in the playground. And it's because I'm late. I'm 20 minutes late. But they're older and they kind of are good to kind of chill. So I will talk to you later. Hopefully you can see me a little bit better. I'm sorry. I will talk to you later and we'll vlog some more. All right. Bye. She's fine. We're here just chilling Monday afternoon. It is five o'clock in the evening and we're just kind of chilling. So we're going outside right now because we're going outside. Follow us. Just coming outside for a little while. It's nice. Hubby is working. <sighs> the ever issue of mowing the lawn. These are a little bit of tulips we have here oh my god look how open this one is i gotta come out here and take a few pictures that one that one there is good 
Mm. Yeah, tulips tend to not. Hi guys. Really. And then cupcake. cupcake yeah, you can see them a little bit better now. Rolling in the grass. So I just gave her a yeah. shower yesterday. Hey guys, what's up? What it's happened with here. cupcake? And that's Miss Dynasty. That's our little baby Goyo. Hi, Rami. <laughs> That's a little word. Yeah. Finally, we can able are able to come outside. All this rain that has been going on, it's annoying. I remember yesterday of the hail. Oh yes, it was hailing yesterday. Hi guys, so big. So our soon to be summer fun is going to be starting. Some of our vlogs have been a little bit eh, but hey. That's we life. Got the edge right here. Oh, finally, somebody didn't put on jeans. <laughs> yes, that's my oldest over there, AJ and Dad. Hubby. Dad. And come over Dad. here Dad. and Dad. see Dad. our lilacs. Maybe we can go to the lilac festival for this week. Watch out, there's poop over here. All right. This is our lilac. Our lilac tree. Let's smell them. Smell them, Teavers. <laughs> they can't smell them. <laughs> so these are our beautiful little lilac trees. And the dog. <laughs> I'm surprised she's not fighting. I'm surprised she's not trying to chew on the lawnmower. She has this thing that she barks at it. She starts barking at it. All right, time to clean the. Oh, you guys see me? Time to clean up the backyard and set it up for us to enjoy our summer. Talk to you later. Syracuse at 2.45 the bus we were supposed to board decided that <sighs> sorry <laughs> it decided that it overbooked us so I had to sit in Syracuse for two hours and a half of the baby not fun at all so finally got to New York City I love my city. I really, really love my city. But I want to go home. I'm done. I'm over with. But it is what it is. So, talk to you guys later.
I'm feeling a little bit overwhelmed right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I am. I've been praying and asking the Lord to give me a mind to deal with this. Here we go. I posted on my Facebook that the race is not for the swift, but for those who endure. And sometimes enduring means that you have to go through it. You gotta push. When you're running on that race, you gotta push, push hard. So, this race that I'm running is hard. Being a Christian is hard. When you wanna do right by the Lord, you wanna live right for the Lord. The enemy is gonna throw everything at you, even in the kitchen sink, so that you can deter away from him. But I've decided that I want to stick on holding on to the Lord. That's my only way to get through it. So when I'm feeling overwhelmed, when I'm feeling like it's too much going on, I worship. I take a moment and I worship. I remember songs that are uplifting, not because of the songs, but because of those words remind me of what the Lord is doing in my life. And I draw near to the Lord. And I ask him to help me see this through and to sort everything that needs to be sorted. So, that's what I tell you guys. Draw near to the Lord. Good or bad times, draw near to the Lord. I promise you, he won't never fail you. He hasn't failed me yet. Talk to you later. Sometimes we go through situations and trials that only God understands why we have to go through it. Um, this that I am dealing with right now, it is overwhelming sometimes and a little bit more often than I want it to be. Because um, I do have to travel to New York City six to seven hours to stay here for two. So I didn't go back and travel another six. It is overwhelming, there's a lot going on. but. When you're feeling overwhelmed, when you're feeling like you don't know what to do, try God. The Lord knows what he's doing and how to do this.